we brought together seven black belts. I am a black belt. I'm a black belt. I'm a black belt. I am a black belt. I'm a black belt. I'm a black belt. I am a black belt. Having a black belt in martial arts can mean so many different things, and the, the idea of putting a bunch of black belts in the same room to figure out which one is which, I, it's comical. In fact, I was gonna write a skit, a bit about this, but Jubilee beat me to it, like, and, and made it real life. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. So I've watched like a minute of this from a channel called Martial Mind, and I decided I wanna react to it by myself. <laughs> the stunts in this video are performed by trained martial artists with the supervision of a medic on set. Uh-oh, are they gonna fight? Oh my god. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it out there. I don't think anybody's gonna be like, hey, this is actually a super easy thing for us to find out. Let's put on gear. Nobody's gonna say it. Nobody's gonna say it. There's no way. I wanna try and guess based off of just this pause screen. Guy on the left is doing a very typical like jujitsu post-class pose, and he's kind of got his belt tied a little bit higher. I'm gonna guess he is. Girl right here, it's so hard to say. Girl right here obviously is. I'm gonna say yes, yes. I, I could be, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say no. He's got a Taekwondo gi on, or a, go, a dobak, he's, but he's doing like a kung fu stance, which maybe they asked him to. They were like, hey, just do like something. But they didn't ask this guy to do this. She definitely just did this on her own. She's definitely that person, 100%. He, that's a karate gi, that's a karate stance that fits. That is a, that is a very Taekwondo-ish stance. That one does check out. My guesses so far are not a black belt over here on the far left, and one of these two. This guy could be a jiu-jitsu guy who's not a black belt, but he's like a brown belt. Like, I feel like that's some tricky stuff they would do. Seven, if the group discovers both liars, they'll split a cash prize. Okay, yeah. If oh, wait! Oh, my God! Survives, Hold up! Were they sparring? They'll split a cash prize. That was a great spinning rear kick. That girl is a black belt. Which one was that? Oh, that's not sparring. They're just demoing something. If any of the liars survives... Dude, I'm hyped. I'm so excited prize. right now. Who is the odd one out? No. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll do it real quick. It's the most generic thing. How long everybody's been training, what your martial art is. We can yeah. just go Perfect. straight on the line. Uh, Very good idea. I've been training for eight years. I do Taekwondo. I'm Jessica and I also do... Eight years Taekwondo? I do Taekwondo mm. for about a decade, more than that. My name's Keith Hudson and I've been training for six years now in Karate and Taekwondo. My name is... The way he said karate was correct. But he also did Taekwondo too. Six years of two different styles. I wish he said what he was a black belt in. Victoria, I've been training for like over 10 years now. And I do Kaji Kimbo. I came on here to like bring representation to the style. Oh, and wait, you know, hold on. That was super specific. Kaji Kimbo. <sighs> she was my guess on who it might not be, but that's tough. It for like 15 years. Uh, taekwondo. 15 years Taekwondo. My name is Casey. I have been doing Hapkido for nine years. My name is Anthony Cruz and I've been doing Jiu Jitsu for about 10 years. A lot of Taekwondo though, people, huh? Huh. Jiu Jitsu 10 years. I guess I could check out. And like I mentioned, I, I right off the bat I called it very, very. But he's wearing a white gi. You don't see a lot of white gis in Jiu Jitsu. And, uh, what, yeah, what, I what, what got you all into martial arts? I played a lot of fighting games as a kid. So yeah, pop, 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 hidden stuff. Uh, one day, Kick the table, mother. Hmm. My dad was a black belt. I got indoctrinated when I was five. Go. My dad put me in it to like learn. A black belt in what? Too. My dad was a black belt. I got indoctrinated when I was five. Go. Immediately, I'm like, bro, which one? You take karate and taekwondo. Which one? Which one are you a black belt in? Six years, not a lot of time to, like to have. Mm, my dad did Aikido when I was younger, and I said that I wanted to be like him. Dad didn't want to be, want me to be a ballerina, so that's why he put me in Aikido. Mm. I loved MMA and... Okay, so we got one vote oh, Andre. Another Andre. Jessica. I felt like Anthony was suspicious because the way he was like... If Honestly, if it's Anthony, I'm gonna be very surprised. Anthony's like a very typical uh, jujitsu practitioner. Like, he's got a body for strangling people. Like, instigating the conversation. 
No way. Okay, Andre's gotta go. Um, it's definitely not Andre. <gasps> How long did he say eight years? This is round two, the martial arts round. <gasps> You will each have about 30 seconds to demonstrate your martial arts and prove to What's the jiu-jitsu guy gonna do? Just lie on his back? Come here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one of these, and then I'm gonna get him in one of those, and then I... If any of the Taekwondo people are like kind of embarrassed when they're doing it, it means that they're not a Taekwondo person. Well, I mean, yeah, she's very clearly a, a skilled martial artist. She is probably a black belt. Like, I would put money on it that she's one of the black belts. Followed by the final big yell. Big yell is always, there it is. And that's how you know she's a competition martial artist. The yell. She said Taekwondo, let's see if she's doing a form. She is doing a Taekwondo form. Boom. Oh, she's doing, um. oh shoot, what's the name of that one? Uh, I, I don't remember the name. And I thought since she did like Taekwondo, she would do like a lot of kicks and stuff. Huh. Victoria's being a little sketchy. Ah, hey, he did it! He did it! <laughs> I knew that was gonna... <laughs> okay, so he's legit. He is a, <laughs> he's a jiu jitsu practitioner. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is so good. I'm still pretty sure about him. Hapkido. That's that's pretty hapkido y. That's pretty hapkido y too. If you don't know what hapkido is, essentially, if you took karate and you broke it down into two different sections, the kicks is taekwondo. Everything else that you would do in karate, but make it Korean, that's the hapkido section. Oh, interesting. Get him, sis. Get him, sis, somebody said. Um, yeah, so far, I think she's good. Ooh, this is a Kaju Kenbo. Okay, interesting. Very strange that she knocked the thing down. I don't know. Uh, the knocking the thing down seems like uh, like an in like an unfamiliarity with what you have in your hand. Hmm. Man, I'm a little iffy on Keith. Why has he got that hand pinned to that yeah. hip the whole time? Why would he also, uh, he should have spacers between the boards, usually. Four boards is a lot to not have spacers between. Oh, we well, got him. Some things about Keith that were kind of telling. The, that, the turning and then pulling back. That's, that's pretty technical karate, right? Um, doesn't take a long, to, if your dad taught you karate from when you were five. Same situation here. I find it interesting that it was, Karate and Taekwondo, but he's only been going for six years and his his dad indoctrinated it in him since he was five He's definitely older than 11 Okay, so if we're going into the voting process The girl with the swords I'm a little iffy about Keith with the karate and Taekwondo. I'm a little iffy about I'm pretty solid on the Hapkido girl the jiu-jitsu dude the Taekwondo girl with the sword, <laughs> with the singular sword. The girl did do a Taekwondo kata. Man, that's tough. Even though it's super impressive. So I guess the Jiu Jitsu guy could be not a black belt. Usually by the time you're even like a brown belt or sometimes even a purple belt, you teach a lot. I wish I could have seen him speak more. I have a lot of friends that have learned how to staff spin, saber spin, and stunt actors, but they're not black belts. Interesting. Anthony. I wish I had great hair like that. Everyone he does have great hair. They... Hmm. Because I have respect for you, I I am the mole. Huh? What? <laughs> I am not a black belt. Not yet. 
but I want to be. And I don't feel comfortable deceiving any of you guys. Bro, like, it's a, it's a, it's a show. Like, uh, that made me cringe. Like, I obviously believe him, right? Like, that's true. But what, what did I even watch the video for? I kind of, you know, Keith indoctrinated in him from when he was five. You guys are fantastic. And I can't lie. I can't. So, I humbly apologize. And I'm sorry for deceiving you guys. Is that, is this is legit. I, I, do. I was just gonna ask like for proper sidekick technique. <laughs> That's what I was gonna I do. I haven't done it in ten years, so honestly, I could never even do a sidekick. What is happening? Taekwondo girl on the far left hasn't done it in 10 years. That explains the form, why she might remember it, but it didn't look super great. Um, so I think she's probably solid. Keith just outed himself. In a very weird way too, but honestly fitting a very karate way. Um, it's not abnormal that when people are like going up the ranks of a, of a style that's so built based off of respect like karate, that people who are taking it take it much more seriously than even the people who are teaching it. Like if he said that to me, who has taken martial arts my entire life, since I was three, I'd be like, okay, cool, let's like, get up, man, you're good. Like, I, you're trying to win some cash. I, I was trying to win some cash. <sighs> it just made me uncomfortable. Okay, well, I mean, I guess now you just vote out Keith. I still think that the first dude, the, uh, the first Taekwondo guy, I think he was BSing. I kind of suspected it because you're super martial arts nerd. Yeah. But like, I, I don't mean that in like a bad way, but I was like, he's so nerdy about it. Like, I feel like he's kind of fresh-ish. So where are you at now? Yeah, yeah what belt are you? Tell us the whole story. I just got my, I trained during the pandemic. I started training back in martial arts in 2019. I was a smoker and a drinker through my 20s mm. and I needed to turn my life around. And. One way ticket, straight to hell. I'm done. All right, Keith. Keith, if you're watching this. Um, man, it's really cool that you did something to better your life. I'm sorry I made fun of you, Keith. Proud of you. Just like, you learn to enjoy it, you know? It's good that it's doing good things for you. Learn to enjoy it a little bit. Because if you learn to enjoy it, you won't put so much pressure on it. And by putting less pressure on it, if you mess up or you do things wrong, you're less likely to be so harsh on yourself about it, which means you'll come back over and over and over again, and it will become a lifelong thing, and you will get your black belt. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's not Keith. Oh, got it, got it. <laughs> okay, so they want to continue the game. I think that we have both of the moles out. Uh, the only reason I want to continue is you did say like, oh, I haven't, as soon as I mentioned like sidekick technique, yeah. like, oh, I haven't done it in a long time, so no. I don't know. Honestly, I could never even do a sidekick. Yeah, it's uh, pretty the weird. The form was like a very basic kind of color belt form, because, and in Taekwondo, oh, like. Oh, in my, in my no, studio, that, that, it's second degree. Yeah, that's that's not a basic form. The This one she did is not a basic form. Wait, what's your style though? My style? Taekwondo. Oh, shoot. Like, honestly, like, like your, it was never explained to me. My master was never the most professional. I just think when Victoria asked you what style you did, it did take yeah, you nah. a while to respond. Cause it's just right away, oh, I do have keto. <sighs> if you're a black belt, you can easily explain how to do a side kick. Yeah. Side kick is a basic kick. It is, right? but my kick was never as good as No, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't matter the yeah, height. Yeah, as long as you kick. can. It's like muscle memory. Uh, it's a good side kick. Okay, so they're kind of like nitpicking here, which is a very martial artsy thing to do. To be like, mm, if you can't like do this thing that I think that you should be able to do for a black belt, then you shouldn't be a black belt. That's like the most common thing in all of martial arts. I think all these people probably were black belts. I think at this point, it's just martial arts being martial arts and being like, mm, but you're not at the same level I'm at. So that's, that makes you kind of, like there's a good chance that this girl was on a fast track program when she was like seven, got her black belt, got her second degree, which is not abnormal, maybe four years. Yeah, I think they're all good. I honestly thought that all of y'all were like pretty real and I thought we caught uh, Andre oh. and Keith and like the guys, I thought they were the moles. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm on Jessica's team here. Sure, of Victoria's. Jessica, Victoria. I felt bad because like we attacked I mean, it Jessica. could be Victoria. Man, they're really letting this Victoria kind of just that scoot by without saying much. 
means you have voted out the mole and you win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. Yeah, that makes sense. That checks out. Okay, so that leaves us with who was the black belt. Both. Please step forward and reveal yourselves in three, two... Imagine Keith wasn't. Like, imagine Keith actually was a black belt and he was trying to do some, like, reverse psychology and, like, it just with no, with no rhyme or reason. One. Yeah, okay. As expected. That makes total sense. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I do martial arts. Uh, I've, like, I'm self-taught with, like, weapons and everything. Self-taught, yeah. Makes sense. Everything. I do Muay Thai, like, formally. Hey. That's, like, the formal thing that I do. Like, so, we did the like, punches no in the beginning? It was, oh. it was yes. Like, yeah. Yeah. I don't really like his yeah. fists were like, Where you're like, oh, oh I like oh. fighting? And I was like, yeah. oh, I didn't want to, like, <laughs> do oh, he's, it still, he's still not great, though. <laughs> oh, let's see his self-taught weapons real quick. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh. Hey. Yeah, I mean, he's an athletic guy. Um, he just obviously isn't like a super formally trained in these things. Yeah, so essentially here's what this means. One, uh, there are so many different types of martial arts, so many different martial arts schools that having a black belt could mean essentially nothing. It could mean everything, it could mean nothing. Uh, it's more so school to school based. It could be even person to person based. Taking martial arts for the sake of getting a black belt is probably not the best route to go. Um, Having goals is fine, but that being like the one thing that you're trying to do. The perception of black belt to the public is, oh, like all-knowing martial artists who can fight and kick butt. Not usually how that works. At the end of the day, uh, the point I'm trying to make is that a black belt is a piece of cloth. In your school, it signifies how much you've learned within your own program. If you compare black belts from school to school, they're going to look different. Yeah, I mean, that was enjoyable. Jubilee, well done. Um... I hate that Keith outed himself. I would have loved to have guessed it, but you know, it is what it is. But yeah, anyway, if you want to see me react to more stuff, make sure you send it to me. Give me some ideas, and until next time, subscribe or I'll kick you. Do you believe me? Haha, <laughs> I gotcha, I'm not a black. I